In an earlier video, we talked briefly about the nature of objects that you can and cannot change. And we said that everything we've introduced so far, you cannot change. That is to say, it is immutable. And this includes strings. Now, in the case of strings, this can have a significant effect on how you do certain things in your programming. And so it's worth talking about just a little bit more. So I pulled up all the methods for that we can see for, for strings. And I wanted to show that some of these methods look like they should change a string. We previously looked at trim, which takes off white spaces. A method like to uppercase or to lowercase is a type of method that seems like it should uh, change the string. So if I go back to name and I call name dot to uppercase, I get, as you would expect, uh, the name, but all the letters are in uppercase. The thing to note here though, is that the original name has not changed. To uppercase does not alter the value of the string that it was called on. Instead, it creates a new string. And so res26 is referring to this new string, which has uppercase letters in it. The same thing goes with to lowercase. It does not alter the original string. Our original name is still exactly the same as it had been. So when you are working with strings, uh, in some sense, the nice part is you cannot alter an old string. So you can't mess up a string if you're happy with it. However, if you do want to make some alteration to it, we really need to kind of give it a new name. So if I wanted to have a name in uppercase that I could refer to a lot, then I would need to store it inside of a variable so that I could use that variable name from then on. Okay, that kind of covers the basic ideas of immutability and the fact that we don't change any of the values in the string. Basically, once a string is created, it's always the same and anything that looks like it's changing it is giving you back a new string.